on this video I'm going to show you how to add dynamic input to uh, a block um, this is a block that I created here um, to get started highlight the block and uh, go into the editor the block editor um, this dialog box is asking you um, which block obviously the block that you have uh, this active is selected already so click OK that's gonna bring you to the the editor the block editor screen um, and um, the the action the dynamic input we're gonna add to this block is a uh, rotation uh, make sure that the parameters uh, palette is selected click on rotation um, the first thing that um, AutoCAD is going to ask you is for to specify the base point the from where the block is going to rotate so like in the class you want it to be this point here after that It's going to ask you to specify the radius of rotation. Um, so, for that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the end of the the object, so I can rotate um, to this point here. Uh, the next, um, uh, the next thing the AutoCAD is asking for is just to specify the default rotation um, angle of this uh, dynamic uh, input and um, we're gonna make it 90 so just click bring your your mouse uh, over to the center point and click there click on 90 and that's gonna be um, The angle and then another thing that it's asking for is specify the label location that's a little uh, handle that you're gonna see on the block uh, that's gonna allow you to click on it and uh, make the action um, active uh, so we want the little handle here actually too at this point so click there here's a little handle after that now what you need to do is go into the actions and match the action to the parameter go into the action palette uh, click the rotate action um, this asks you to select the parameter obviously this is the parameter that we want here rotate click on it and now the next once you click on it on the parameter which is this little uh, uh, mark over here, the yellow mark over here. The next thing that it's going to ask you for is to select the objects that you want to rotate. And for that, we're going to select the whole block. Click Enter. And this here is indicating that you have a rotate action, a dynamic action on this block here. To save it, just close Block Editor save your changes and now you're gonna see that when you click on the block you have this added handle here and this is a rotation um, input click on it and you see that this the, the block is pivoting from the point that you specified before and that's how you do it